We're just heating our oil and we are going to be making some olibolin for tonight for New Year's Eve. I just sprinkled a little tiny bit of water into this and it started bubbling. So I think we're pretty much ready for our olibolin batter. This is our olibolin batter that we made up for dough. I'm not sure what it's called. That's our recipe for olibolin. Here's our dough, and we just take two tablespoons approximately in size. So I usually just I usually just kind of cut on the side and try to keep it, it together. Those are fairly small, those were more like a tablespoon. So the olive oils have risen nicely. Let's see if they, yeah, they're not browning yet. Some light, a little bit. Yeah, I just leave them. I'm gonna turn it up one more notch. We have it at eight on our cooktop. I'm going to try again. It's been a couple minutes. See if they're browning. Not very much. That one's starting to be a little bit brown. It's not going to want to roll. <laughs> see what about the big ones. Round ones don't stay over. No. Sometimes they do. Yeah. So we have paper towel. It just helps soak up the oil. It keeps them from being too greasy. So you cook the top? It's cooking the top on the round one that wouldn't flip, or it always flipped. So these are our first Oli Bullens of this New Year's Day, no, New Year's Eve. our giant one that's not looking like an only bowling at all. Like a fried chicken. They are fairly nice and golden brown. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the good color or not. So let me just use paper towel and just dab them a little bit and help soak the extra oil. So try to keep it in a bowl a little bit. I didn't do very well on the first batch, but they were fairly forgiving. You can see this is all nice and yeasty. It's been rising. The batter has been rising for about an hour. I'm 
Yeah, this is a big one. I'm going to separate that. I never grew up with Ole Bolin, and Ole Bolin traditionally has currants or raisins in it, but my kids don't want raisins or any fruit in here tonight. So we're just making them plain. It's just dough. So it's basically a donut, but it's a tradition that a bunch of my friends had while I was growing up, and I got it from them, the idea of doing, doing Ole Bolin for the New Year's Eve. So, just something that we've been doing. I usually try to make this every year. Usually, it has fruit in it. Other times, it's plain like this. We like it kind of like an apple fritter too, but that's definitely not traditional. This is our second batch of Ole Bolins that we're doing, and there's our first batch. These ones are cooking faster, and they rolled over by themselves. Some of them. Some of them did. They only take a few minutes. A little bit on each side, and once they're kind of a nice even brown, they're usually cooked all the way inside, and they're ready to come out and get drained. Don't get your hands in the way of the oil if it's dripping off of the off of the olive oil or off of the ladle strainer. Smells good. It's like a drumstick. Mm. I'm pretty sure the. I, I believe it's from Holland. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know. Maybe theirs are the same shape as ours, but we're probably doing it totally wrong. But they're tasty, and we like them. So these ones will dry a little bit. Get the oil soaked off of them. And we're going to refill here. We don't want the oil to get too hot. I'm trying to get the batter. Hopefully it's not too hot. These are fairly big. Pretty much it, it's quite sticky. I don't even think we could do a mini. Try a little bitty, mini, bitty, mini one. Doesn't want to come off.
kind of smooth down a little bit just because it's you can tell it's getting pretty hot Trying to flip over. Mm -hmm. Rhett has a little one. I'm gonna die if I eat the bat in a little one. Mm. I'm turning around. It's a very basic batter. There's, but there is egg in here. One egg. Flour, a little tiny bit of sugar, yeast, salt. I don't think there's anything else. He doesn't want to flip. These ones are all flipped. That's good. <laughs> okay. We're not having good luck. So this is so far. It's just a small batch that we're doing today. I'm going to put some more paper towel for the next batch. So it doesn't get the ones that are already empty of their oil. There's a baby one. It takes a little while. They're fairly big around and it's not nice if they are still doughy in the middle. So it takes a little bit of cooking. We have a fire extinguisher right close to us, and um, we're, we have lots of bodies here that can take care of things quickly if something goes wrong with the hot oil. You can see how much oil is in one little fritter. And that's it. We're going to let them cool and then we will show you what we do with them. So the Ole Bullens have cooled off a little bit and drained and we're going to put them into a paper bag. <laughs> Got a little casserole. <laughs> Put sugar in. And we're going to shake it up. Need more, more sugar. Woohoo! Good. Perfect. We'll shake it a little bit more and we'll see what we have. Now that is Ole Bullen, made fresh on New Year's Eve. This is our whole batch and it's ready to get tasted. Last one.
that is the end of the Oli Ball Runs.